Hello gorgeous, it's Denise here from luckybitch.com and today we're looking at a mindset issue that's so fundamental, most of us don't even question it. It's the idea that you can be rich or spiritual, but never both. Now, in reality, you can be any kind of rich woman you like. You just need to declutter those stories you have around being wealthy and then really decide who you want to be with money. It's totally okay to have conflicting feelings around money and how it could change you. But let's challenge your assumptions and give you permission to allow yourself to be wealthy and keep your spiritual practices. And let's do this together. Now, where does this idea come from that you can be rich or spiritual, but never both? You know, most religious and spiritual traditions have really awesome things to say about treating your fellow humans with love and respect and being a good person. But when it comes to money, that's when things can get a bit confused and the messages can be a bit negative. So you know that old Bible chestnut about the love of money being the root of all evil or the one about it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into heaven? That sort of stuff kind of gets a little bit ugh. Because if you think about it, We hear all these messages all the time and not even to mention that thing about the vow of poverty that is linked to kind of the highest form of spirituality. And it doesn't matter if you grew up in the church or not because these messages come from everywhere. So maybe your community talks about how it's unspiritual for you to charge for your gifts. Or maybe you get negative feedback about, you know, you don't care about your community if you charge for what you do. Or maybe you've even been turned off by people who use the guise of spirituality to con people out of their money, because unfortunately that does happen. And then you've got to think about all that stuff from your childhood, that it's better to give than receive, or you shouldn't be too greedy or materialistic. So with all of this kind of emotional guilt-inducing clutter around money, is it any wonder that most of us think we can't be rich and spiritual at the same time? People ask me all the time why some of the greediest, most horrible people in the world get so rich. And besides the fact that some of them don't care about people, they don't care about the environment, I would suspect that a lot of them actually don't have any hang-ups around their deservingness. They 100% believe that they deserve to be rich. And the horrible irony is that the community of women who would do the most with money to help change the world are also the people who resist it the most. So I wanna ask you, who do you want to have more money in the world? Greedy people or your community of loving, caring and spiritually aware women? Think about your goals and the goals of women in your mastermind groups. Don't you think that you could use money to change the world? So rather than getting resentful about the greedy dicks who give rich people a bad name, (laughs) let's think about some of the amazing people who use their wealth to change the world. So what about people like Oprah? Oh my God, Oprah, of course. You know, she founded the Angel Network. She's funded thousands of scholarships. Plus she has her Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, a huge, amazing role model for me in particular. What about the Gates who set up the Gates Foundation? They really focus on giving women and children around the world access to health services to change their life. And there are so many other people who support charities and really have amazing causes that change the world. Plus, of course, all of those unknown heroes who change the world in small ways as well. The truth is that money doesn't change the person you are in your heart. Instead, it allows you to be more of who you already are. So it's time to ditch that either or. Like I said, you can be any kind of rich person you want. First though, you've got to declutter all of those damaging assumptions that you've picked up along the way about how wealthy people have to be. Now here's a quick practical exercise that's gonna help you do that. So grab your journal, got my lucky bit journal here, and brainstorm a list of all of the negative qualities that you think go along with being rich. So for example, you could say greedy, selfish, manipulative, power mad, environmentally irresponsible, etc. And then step two, think about all of the people that you can think of who have those negative qualities. Write their names down very specifically. And then guess what? Do a boatload of forgiveness work on those people. Yes, yes, forgiveness work. Even send them love. Release all those resentments so you don't keep associating being rich with being greedy and horrible. And then step three, 
For every negative example of a rich person that you've identified, look for at least one person who is doing awesome things to make the world a better place. So what kind of rich person do you wanna be? Because once you've ditched all of those harmful assumptions, it's time to figure out what that beautiful, spiritual, rich version of you would be like. So close your eyes and imagine the kind of person you would love to become if you had unlimited money. Who would you help with all of that money? What causes would you donate to? And where would you volunteer your time or services to change the world? So lastly, give yourself permission to be an amazing, wealthy woman, one who uses her wealth to change the world. And you know what? If you can't think of any role models from your particular background or your particular circumstances, well then guess what? You are the role model and you have to be the role model for others. Show other women in your community that it's safe to be spiritual, conscious, environmentally responsible, down to earth, loving and good with money. It's safe for you to be a wealthy, spiritual, powerful woman because the world really needs you to do that and to step up. And guess what? It's your time and you're ready for the next step.